Scattered Minds by Gaber Mate. The Origins and Healing of Attention Deficit Disorder. In this book, we are taking on a journey through the experience of ADD, uh, what science knows about it, and also we, he explores some possible paths towards healing and better mental health. This is a must read book if you're a parent or if you're working with kids or young adults. Let's dive right into it. Hi and welcome to the book lab, I'm Bjorn and this is the place where we bring you the best book recommendations when it comes to philosophy, psychology, human nature and human potential. Today we're going to talk about scattered minds. And the first thing we have to deal with is the definition of ADD. What is attention deficit disorder? Well, it is comprised of three main factors. The major features are poor attention skills, uh, deficient impulse control and hyperactivity. But in order to get a diagnosis, only two of these features need to be present. Of course, Gabriel Mate covers a lot of ground in this book, but I want to highlight some ideas that I found standing out or being extra interesting. And one of those is the idea of attunement and attachment. Gabor Mate examines the crucial role of attunement and attachment in child development. To highlight the great importance of this, Gabor Mate talks about an experiment that was conducted. Uh, in the experiment, mothers and their infants were interacting the universal way that primary caretakers and babies interact through gestures, through smiles and eye contact. During this part of the experiment, the infants were happy and had no problems at all. But in the second phase of the experiment, the mothers were replaced with a screen with a recording of the mother's face from the interaction that they had just one minute ago. The result of this was that the infants became as distressed as in the classic flat face experiment where mothers were not allowed to give any emotional uh, response to their infant's uh, call for attunement and attachment. A happy and smiling face just wasn't enough. The infants need the, their signals to be uh, reflected by the mother uh, moment to moment. All of that was lacking in the instant replay video that they were watching, where the mother didn't directly uh, react to the signals they were sending out. This sharing of emotional space is called attunement. So this is a good example of how emotional stresses and mothers uh, that are sooning out can interfere with a child's brain development because it tends to interfere with the attunement process. As distractions and external stresses increase in society, damage from lack of attunement is bound to rise. And attunement is necessary for the normal development of the brain's capacity for emotional self-regulation and attention. A reoccurring theme in Gabor Mate books is the generational perpetuation of trauma. You can read about it in Hold On To Your Kids, um, When The Body Says No. I have links to the reviews of both these books in the description, by the way. The thing is that as humans, we tend to repeat the same mistakes and behaviors as our parents did. Hence, some attachment disturbances tend to run in the family and might become a risk factor for ADD or other psychological issues. Quote, the generations are boxes within boxes. Inside my mother's violence, you find another box which contains my grandfather's violence. And inside that box, I suspect, but I do not know, you find another box with some such black secret energy. Stories within stories, receding in time. The use of different pills can be very tempting when dealing with ADD, and it can be helpful for some people. Very helpful, actually. But looking at lifestyle is more important. Much more difficult and much more essential is to look at family relationships, psychological security, as well as lifestyle and self-esteem. Gabor Mate is all about the long-term thinking in this book. Uh, and the end goal is to become a whole person with a firm sense of self. That's how we heal. For a person like me who can be quite impatient with uh, children who are hyper or can't pay attention to the task at hand or don't listen, I had a lot to learn from this book. Some of these lessons I first uh, got from uh, Hold On To Your Kids, but they were solidified and deepened by reading this book. 
And one key takeaway is that as an adult, you are the one responsible emotionally in interactions with other people, especially children. I need to practice what Carl Rogers called unconditional positive regard. That I approve of my child without condition, although I might not approve of all the choices my child makes. It's all about giving basic acceptance and support of a person regardless of what the person says or does. In Scattered Minds, Gabor Mate talks about when he realized and got his diagnosis for his ADD. But the funny part is that I feel like the way he experiences it is exactly how I experience life as well and all my friends do. Does that mean that we all have ADD? Or is it just that having ADD traits is a part of how it is to live in modern society? As I read the book, I imagined removing the label ADD from <laughs> all the sentences. Sentences like uh, many ADD children things like this and that, many ADD adults feels like they haven't achieved their potential in life, ADD adults feel like they have started a lot of projects but they struggle to finish. Even without the ADD label, these things still rings true to me. That's the tricky part with ADD. It's a matter of degree. It's about how much these things uh, disturb your life that dictates if you have the diagnosis or not. Most people, young or old, have these traits. It is only the degree that makes it a diagnosis. It's a great book to read if you want to understand ADD, but also if you want to understand the world we are living in. Yet again, I'm impressed with the holistic and compassionate view that Gabor Mate takes on medicine. We need more of that. I have three, three more recommendations that I want to share on how you can become more focused and why we are so distracted in uh, today's society. But before that, I want to mention that if you enjoy the content here, then like the video. It will make sure that the, my videos pop up next time I publish them. I make book reviews every week and every month. I also go through the most exciting nonfiction releases of the month. So don't miss out on that. The first book that I want to recommend is The Shallows. This is one of my favorite books of all time. What the internet is doing to our brains. And it talks about how uh, the use of um, hyperlinked um, web pages and just internet browsing has changed the way we take in information and process it in the brain. It's a really excellent book. Another one is Stolen Focus, Why You Can't Pay Attention. Yuan Hari investigates why it's so hard to focus in modern society. And it's not only tech that is a cause of this. Another one is a more practical for the one who wants to focus a bit more. Deep work. Rules for focused success in a distracted world. Uh, I would call this a modern classic when it comes to productivity books. It's helped me a lot, especially with writing. That's it for me for this week. I'm a little bit tired and I wanted to do a more rapid pace video. I think I failed. <laughs> I know I've gone from doing one minute videos to three minute videos to seven minute videos. And now the last couple of weeks have been 13. So I'm going to try to do a few shorter videos uh, in the old style just to mix things up. Have a good week everyone, uh, happy reading and see you next time. Yarn out!